time long ago, there lived in the kingdom of Galomir a sorcerer named Zarok. This arrogant, pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia into battle against this unholy horde. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude, how demons fell before him like wheat before the scythe, and how at last, though mortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galloway. And a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then, the sorcerer returned. Hello everyone, Dark Kirby 14 here. Welcome to the first edition of it. Well, not new, but I'm going back and redoing it. And of course, I started Medieval, never finished it. I don't know why. Other things kind of got put on the front foot a little bit, and that's kind of what um, that's what happens. That happens a lot with me. Oh, 
that happened. That happens with me a lot more than you'd realize. That happens a lot more than you, than I think anyone would think. Anyway, I'm going to that. I'm going like I said before. I'm going to the Eagles and Bucks. So I gotta get this a little bit, a little faster than I had hoped. But it is what it is. Oh, it's kind of what we got to do. The fog of war and the shrouds of time That's kind. Of, that's there's a. It's a big of a big point. So yeah, I wanted to do this for. A while. I wanted to go back and do this game for a while. Because I want to go back and finish this. Because I don't like not the starting a let's play and then never and then never finishing. I don't like that. That's kind of the whole point of what I wanted. To, what I. That was kind of the. It's kind of the statement I wanted to, freaking do is not go back and. No, so I'm gonna stop, like, like not doing, like starting games and finishing, not finishing them. And that's kind of the the whole thing that I don't. I just wanna. Keep, I want to finish what I start this time, and I want to do that. And I don't want to just pick up a game and not finish it. And that's ultimately like what, like I don't want to just stop. I don't want to stop a let's play and then not do it anymore. And that's my whole thing: is I want to keep, I want to keep going with the game that I'm doing. Finish what I start from now on. That's kind of what my goal has always been now to finish games that I start. And that way I can. And that way I can not have projects that I abandon for whatever reason. Like, I had a decent enough reason to abandon FIFA, though. I, I had a decent enough reason to abandon that.
Uh, th th there were plenty of ones that, like, FIFA, I just... Like, I, I had plenty of reason to abandon that. Soccer starts up this back up this week, too. Now, soccer starts up back this week. Although there was plenty of I had I had plenty of reason to stop some of them, but I just didn't I just don't want to do that anymore. Besides, I looked at Mafia 3 and I realized I probably wouldn't finish that game in time. I probably didn't. I probably wanted to. Oh, so this is the kind of this uh, this uh, this is how you get the one hundred percent ending. Yeah, how you get the one hundred percent ending here is a little different. You gotta collect this, these chalices. And you have to do that by killing a bunch of bad guys as you rampage through the levels. So that, that's how it works a little differently with that. That's. It's kind of one of those... No, well, that's kind of... That that that's kind of how this whole game goes. That's one of those. And that's. Oh, 
nuts. And there's these fountain things too if you ever want to just fill up your health a bunch. And that's... So that's one of those. So that's. Yeah, and you go to the Hall of Heroes after every level if you get the chalice. You don't have to kill every enemy, you just gotta kill enough. If they think you're worthy enough, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. So that's one of those. So now, uh, get on, get on the damp. Yeah, right there. The, I don't know what took you so the hell long. Fortescue, it's me, Canny Tim. Does the battle go well? <laughs> How I wish I could fight at your oh, side. That's one of those. But hold, you could take my crossbow. It's got rapid fire, and you can ricochet the darts off walls to shoot around corners. I used it at the Battle of Galamir. After you were slain, I shot Zarek's champion, Lord Kardok. A clean kill through the eye at some thousand yards. Uh, so that's one of those. Not that that's that anything clever about shooting someone in the eye, sir. <laughs> oh. uh. Goodbye, sir. So that, that, yeah, so this is kind of like a, a new, it's kind of a nuance to ha like a hack and slash here. So that's... That's uh, yeah. So I want to finish this one. Can it maybe go for more PS1 stuff? Maybe we'll see. And like I said, maybe even Sonic Generations, but that's up for debate right now. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. I usually do. Anyway, with that, this has been Dark Kirby 14. We'll see you next time on more Medieval.